If you want to learn more about QFabric systems, sign up for our Configuring and Monitoring QFabric Systems or Troubleshooting QFabric Systems courses. For full details, just visit juniper.net slash courses and search for CMQS or TQS in the keyword search box. And if you're pursuing Juniper certification, you'll need to know this for the JNCIS QFabric exam. Now let's get to the good stuff. Hello, my name is Andrew Heinsen, and I work in the lab team of the Education Services Department. This learning byte will cover the basic components of the QFabric system as well as how to upgrade the entire fabric. In this quick presentation I will first explain a high level overview of the QFabric components and how they fit into the fabric. Next I will cover a basic overview of the QFabric Junos upgrade and finally we will switch to a hands-on demo of the upgrade process. Director device. Two directive devices, DG0 and DG1, together form a director group. The director group is used to monitor, control, and manage all the components in the QFabric system. It runs the Junos OS on top of the CentOS image. Please note this is where all the commands for the upgrade will be run. Below we have an example of a QFX 3100 director device. Interconnect devices. The interconnect devices serve as a connection between all node devices. At least two interconnect devices are used in the fabric, and each node has a connection to each interconnect for redundancy. Below is an example of a QFX 3008i interconnect device used in the QFX 3000G QFabric system, and the QFX 3600i interconnect device used in the smaller QFX 3000M QFabric system implementation. Node devices. The node devices are similar to a traditional top of rack switch and connect endpoints such as servers or storage devices to the QFabric system. As mentioned before, all nodes connect to each interconnect device for redundancy. Below are examples of the QFX 3500, QFX 3600, and QFX 5100 node devices. The Junos Upgrade Procedure. Listed here are the upgrade steps for the QFabric system. First, a system health check is run to make sure all the devices in the fabric are operational and connected, and also a check to make sure that all are on the same version of Junos. Next, a backup of the configuration file is created in case something was to go wrong with the upgrade. Next, the jinstall package needs to be downloaded to the QFabric system. Finally, the install command is run on the devices to start the upgrade. This can take up to an hour, so sit back and relax or maybe go grab a cup of coffee. So let's switch to a hands-on demo. See you over there. Hi, and uh, welcome back. And now we're going to do a hands-on demo of the upgrade process to the QFabric system. So first we're going to log in to DG0. Once we're logged in, we're going to enter the CLI mode. So we'll go into CLI. And then from there we want to first run a system health check just to make sure that everything's looking good on the system and that all the fabric is up and operational. So we're going to run a show fabric administration inventory command. So let's just give a breakdown of everything that uh, is part of the fabric. And as you can see here, we have it's broken down into nodes, interconnects, and then the rest of the fabric. So we have five nodes in this system, and all of them currently show connected and configured, and two interconnects, which are also connected and configured, and the rest of the fabric is looking good as well. So now we want to go and see what version we currently have installed on all the devices. So we're going to run a show version component all, and that component all will go and query all the devices in the fabric and just see what version they're running. And I'm adding the no more switch here just so that we can uh, see them all at a single glance without hitting space. So as it scrolls down the list here, we can see that everything um, it seems to be running the 12.2 X50D 20.4 version of Junos. So that's a good uh, base point, that's what we have, so we're going to be upgrading it to a newer version. So. Once uh, we've done that, 
uh, we want to be on the safe side and make sure that we have a configuration backup. So we're going to run the uh, request system software configuration backup command. And this allows you to save the configuration to any way you'd like. So in the case, you could save it to a USB drive if you have connected using the media slash USB if you have one mounted. Or in our case, we're just going to save it off to uh, var temp just so we can save it there and pull off, pull it off if we need it later. So we run that command, it will go and save it. So just to be on the safe side, we want to go and check to make sure it's there. So I'm going to go back into shell mode and uh, going to go and navigate to the var temp directory. And then once we're in there, we're going to have a look and browse what's in there. And you can see that we have the reset.config file. So that file has been saved off correctly. So we've got a backup of the configuration if something were to go wrong with the upgrade process. We also see in here that we have a J install package. So this is a complete QFabric upgrade. It's the RPM package. So we're going to be going to the, the 12.2 x50d 30.4 version of Junos, which is uh, upgrading from the, the current version we have, which you can see above this, the, the D20.4. So um, it's just an incremental upgrade, but this will show off. You could upgrade to any version you want. So now that we've confirmed that the reset config's there and that we also have the, the J install package, you're going to go back into CLI, and we have to download that install package to the actual QFabric system. So I'm going to run the request system software download and then we're going to specify the location which is in this case var temp where I saved it to and then we're going to specify that install package that we want. So we'll go and paste that in and then hit enter. It's a quite large file, it's over a gig so it it does take some time for this command to actually run Okay, now that that command is run, we can actually get to the install process. So we're going to re use the request system software add, and I'm just going to add a question mark here to see what options we have. And here you can see that the package that we wanted, the D30.4, has been added, so we can uh, list it off. So let's add it to the command here. So we're going to add the, the install package. Um, I'm going to add another question mark at the end of this, and we're going to see what what options we can have. So here we see the first one, component. So we're going to add that because uh, this specifies what components you want to actually upgrade in the fabric. So we're going to add the component and then we're going to add the all at the end because we want to upgrade all the devices. So all the nodes, the interconnects, and the director devices. So I'm going to add another question mark and see the options. So we have the option to force, which if you have any errors or that, we'll just ignore it and just keep with the install. We have the no validate, which skips the checks of the configuration. So this saves about 10 minutes if you're in a rush. Uh, the reboot option, which will reboot the devices after the install is complete. And also the validate option, which happens automatically, but you can specify it here if you want. So we're just going to use the reboot switch, and this will just go and reboot the devices after they're done. We'll get a warning saying that uh, this may interrupt the traffic forwarding, which will happen, and this is a test environment, so that's okay, but there is an option to do an in-service software upgrade if you want to, so it won't affect any of the traffic. But in this case, we, we don't care about that, so we're just going to say uh, yes to this and continue on with the install. So this will be a lengthy process. It could take up to an hour for the actual install to happen. So um, we'll just see the first few uh, outputs here, which will just say that it's in validating and installing. And then after that's complete, the device will be rebooted. So we're going to log in and have a look, and uh, we're going to go enter CLI mode again. And we're just going to do the system health check again just to see if all the devices are up and running because after the reboots uh, happen, the inventory takes some time for it to refresh and connect. So you can give it some time, but after everything's connected, as you can see in our case, we've got all the nodes, the interconnects, uh, backup. So we're going to run that show version component all command again. I'm going to look at what, uh, what version we're running, which should be the, the new incremental upgrade that we did, which as you can see here, it looks like everything completed successfully. So that's a, a successful upgrade of the QFabric system.
Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.